Hi, I'm Tom Dart, uh, Sheriff of Cook County. I was a state's attorney for about five years uh, prosecuting cases here in Cook County, and I had a great deal of cases that dealt with children as victims. And uh, the stories I could go on and on and tell you would last for hours, but there's a few of them in particular, one specifically that I wanted to reference because I think it gives you a very good idea of how much the Children's Advocacy Center means to us now because of what wasn't there. This was a case with a little girl who was about five years old, had been sexually assaulted by her grandfather. Uh, during the course of the lead up to the trial, I worked with her by myself. Uh, the reason being is we had nothing else. There were no anything. There was no advocacy center, there was no nothing. The state's attorneys, we would handle the cases by ourselves. We had no one else to go to and did the, did the best you could. I uh, was a history major in college, then became a lawyer and a state's attorney. I had no training in dealing with children. I had no children of my own at the time. And I worked days, weeks, months with this one child to get her ready for trial, to work her through this horrific thing that had occurred to her. Frankly, trying to just do the best I can based on just what my gut was telling me. Um, we got all the way up until the day of trial where I was bringing her into the courthouse on the weekends with her mother. Uh, to sit there in the courtroom and try to get her acclimated to it and what to expect and what was going to be going on around her. And things were going relatively well. Uh, about a day or two before the trial, unfortunately her mother then informs me with her sister present that this was not something unique, that unfortunately that herself and her sister uh, were molested by the same individual who was their father. And that sort of opened up a whole other avenue that I was also not prepared for, but had to sort of work with. Um, we then walked our way into the trial. The trial was a day or two away. And I'll never forget as long as I live, as I was walking the little girl down to the courtroom, uh, I was in the Markham Courthouse. Um, we get close to the door and she just lost it. The numerous days and weeks and months I'd worked with her in that very courtroom, um, it all sort of crumbled and she started screaming and crying hysterically and I was holding her and trying to work with her and talk her through it and when we got to the door uh, she grabbed onto the handle of the door and would not let go mm -hmm. and then when I set her down to try to talk to her she literally ran off and uh, we proceeded to not so much chase her but try to, to catch up with her as she ran around and around the courthouse crying. Eventually we were able to to, to get to her, talk with her, sit her down, and work her way through it. But once again, it made for a di very difficult experience for both her and everyone else involved with it. We eventually convicted the grandfather, um, but it, it wasn't easy. And under no one's estimation would someone say, this is exactly how you want to do it. Have a history major uh, sit down and work with a child who's been horribly sexually abused. What we have now, though, is we have the Advocacy Center. And I cannot tell you what I would not have given to have them around then. Um, th this feeling that you're trying the best you can, but you realize that you really don't have what is needed is a horrible feeling when you're prosecuting any case, but especially when you're dealing with children. The things that the Advocacy Center does with children right now, um, I really don't know where to start and stop. It takes this horrific event, and I don't want to say anybody can ever make it good, but you make the, the best of a horrific thing. And the professionals involved, the, the things they do, the way they work with these children, um, would make anyone amazed. Uh, and the results are there as well. And obviously, we'll all sit there and focus on the children as we should, but from a prosecutor's standpoint, the type of uh, the feeling you get, the assurance that you have when you're walking into these horrible cases, that you now have the proper people working uh, with you, you have all the expertise you need, it, it really is a game changer. Your confidence level goes through the roof. You feel that these very difficult cases, just objectively, because here you have a usually a small child with someone that they usually know very well, quite frequently a, a parent, a grandparent, a loved one of some nature, um, and all of a sudden they're testifying against that person. To have that dynamic in a normal scenario, it's going to be a difficult case, but with the Advocacy Center, you quickly jump over that hurdle and you work your way through all of the issues that before you were just winging it. 
Um, I can go on and on with the different awards and everything else they've gotten, but all I need to really tell you is there is a level of professionalism now that goes on that is a model for the entire country, that is the model on how these cases should be prosecuted, and that at the end of the day, we often feel very good about how we're dealing with these incredibly vulnerable little children, that we're giving them the best and truly what they deserve. And so for the Advocacy Center, I am excited to, to talk on your behalf about your anniversary. As I say, my only concern, my only wish was that you were around 10 or 15 years earlier because the help you could have given so many other children is monumental and I could never ever put into words what it would have meant to have you there. I'm just so happy you're here now. Thank you.